In this video, we'll show you how to set up your Philips HueBridge, add and configure a light bulb, as well as add a tap switch or any other accessory you want to add to your Philips Hue smart lighting setup. So you can do all this without having to make an account, unlike a lot of other smart lights. You just won't have access to geofencing and location features without making an account. So first, download and launch the Philips Hue app on your tablet or phone. Agree to the terms and conditions. You can read the privacy notice or just tap on continue. Do you want your app to be customized? If you want the app to learn the way you use the system and suggest scenes and setups, you would tap yes, continue. For this purpose, we'll say no. Can we reach out? We'll tap no. Can our friends reach out? We'll tap no. Let's get started. Let's tap start setup. What kind of system would you like to set up? We're setting up a Hue Bridge, so we'll tap I have lights and a Hue Bridge. Next, make sure your Hue Bridge is plugged into power and plugged into your router via Ethernet and tap search. If it tells you no Hue Bridge is found, double check that the Hue Bridge is powered on, plugged into your router via Ethernet, and make sure that your mobile device is connected to the same network as your Hue Bridge. Once the Hue Bridge is found, press the button in the center of the Hue Bridge device to connect. Once it says connected, tap continue. It may tell you an update is required. If so, tap on update now. And if you want the device to stay up to date, tap yes to turn on automatic updates. The software will prepare and install. Now your Hue Bridge is up to date, tap done. Now it will prompt you to start adding lights. So make sure any lights or smart plugs you want to add are connected to power. If it's a bulb, screw it into the lamp or fixture and plug the lamp in and press search. The system will search for your lights. Ours says number of lights found one, so we'll tap start configuration. Next, give your light a name and select a light type. If you don't see your light type, tap on more and you'll see the full list and just choose the type of light that you're using. Ours is a standard Philips Hue bulb, so we'll choose signature bulb. So now it says new light found and you can see that the bulb is now connected and we can control the color of the bulb from the Hue app. So tap done. Now it shows, uh, it's going to show your list of lights here. In our case, it's just the one, but we could plug in another light and tap search again. Or if that's all the lights you want to add, tap that's all. Now you'll be prompted to add the light to a room. So we'll tap on add new room. We'll choose living room for this example, and we'll then tap and hold the light and drag it on top of the new living room icon. Repeat this for any other lights you've added and then tap done. Now your Philips Hue lights are installed and ready to use. Next, you can add an accessory like a switch or a dimmer. We're going to add a tap switch. So first tap on settings in the bottom right of the app, tap on accessories, and then tap add an accessory. Here you'll see a list of the different switches and sensors you can add, so we'll choose tap switch. Now it's going to tell you how to activate your specific accessory. So for the tap switch, we have to press and hold the button for 10 seconds. Then release and the tap switch is now connected. Tap continue setup and this will let you add the switch to a room. We'll choose living room. Now here it tells you what each button does in the standard configuration. If you're fine with this configuration, tap done. Or if you want to change what any of the buttons do or any of the specific functions of your accessory, tap on customize. For us, these are fine. So we'll just X out of this menu and the tap switch is now set up. If this video helped you out, please give it a like and you can subscribe for more tech tips, tricks, reviews, and tutorials from Radial Tech. Thanks for watching.